Today we're doing budget challenge bank vault weapon. Here's how it works. We're each gonna take turns with the Plinko board, dropping the ball down. Whatever amount you get, that's the money you get to spend to build or buy weapons to break into this bank vault. But it's not just a normal bank vault. Just Dustin sent us this armored piggy bank with a thousand dollars inside. So whichever one of us is able to break in wins the thousand dollars. Worth playing for? Just Dustin told us it legit is the most unbreakable piggy bank on the market. We got quarter inch metal and bulletproof glass. Saying, who's ready to drop? I'll drop first. Editors, turn our Plinko board into a pinball machine. Whoa. What? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you should go for the one next to mine. No! We have a very special guest who is I think, never done a Plinko drop. Send it, Samuel! Right! Eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? The whatever drop. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My turn to shine. I can't get the ultimate big budget, but I can still do pretty good. Broncos country, let's cry. When you look at Russell Wilson, that is an atrocity. The only good thing about Russell Wilson being in the Mile High City is that Sierra there with him, okay? Oh, $500, Andrew. I accept. Or trash bags. No. <laughs> now it's time for each of us to come up with our own game plan of how we're gonna break into this armored piggy bank. I have $2,500. I'm trying to think outside of the box. We have an equipment rental place near us. I'm gonna give them a call and see what they have in stock. How much are the skid loaders? Skid loader is 270 for the day. I'll take that. I have one of our little 418s, the smallest mini X that we carry. How much is that? For 270. We're looking great. What other equipment do you have? So I would have one fizz lift available, a 19 footer. Uh, those are about 150 a day. Perfect. Do you have any compaction equipment? I do have some jumping jacks or plate compactors available, yes sir. I'll take it. I do have uh, ride-on rollers as well. I'll take a ride-on roller. Do you think all those will accomplish the task at hand? What are you trying to get done? I'm trying to uh, do this construction project that involves uh, breaking open this uh, hard to break open object. Has a uh, has metal on it, so. You're at 969.45. Alrighty, thank you, sir. For four heavy duty machines, it only cost me $969. We're breaking into this piggy bank. Looking around right now on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, for 50 bucks, there's almost nothing good that you can buy. Maybe this, a Ryobi Sawzall, $30. And then I'd be able to buy some blades, cut my way through the whole piggy bank. Ryobi guy agreed to sell me saw for only $25. I just rolled up to home. Home Depot, the best place that we can go to buy or build weapons to break in to this armored piggy boy. This is a little bit tough for me. Hundreds and hundreds of things that would be able to for sure break into this piggy bank, but I can afford none of them. I'm going with some like heavy items. This big blue dipstick. I'm gonna whack that thing hard. A mini sledgehammer, some chisels. I did get this metal cutting saw. I think it's out of your price range. The good thing is that Samuel got the low budget. He is a master constructioneer. That's the bad thing. Samuel knows exactly what he's doing. I don't. He could absolutely obliterate this challenge and I could look like a fool. Don't tell Justin this. If he got a plasma cutter and the air compressor to run it, it would have cost him about a thousand dollars, but he would have literally been able to cut the piggy bank in half in like three minutes. I'm gonna go with a blaze torch. Probably won't melt the metal, but I'm hoping it'll bend it and distort it in such a way that if I use one of my other heavy machinery items, it'll break it. Yes, science! So I have to get blades for the sawzall because it only has a wood cutting blade and I have to get through metal and bulletproof glass. This is my cheapest option. Hopefully that'll get me into the bank. Gotta get some job site safety gear. Andrew, what I wanna know is why do you have cinder blocks on the bottom uh, of the cart? I'm glad you asked. That's actually gonna be one of my favorite methods. I'm gonna use the power of biceps to hurl cinder blocks and break right through the piggy bank. And I'm gonna utilize this chain wrench. Hopefully I can just compress the bank so much. <laughs> And my axe. And my axe. I'm gonna get a hammer. I have like three dollars left. So I'm gonna get a bolt as my wedge. There's only one simple rule to this challenge. You can't just undo the bolts that are holding the piggy bank together or drill holes in the glass because that's too easy. Other than that, do whatever you want all the all time. time. <laughs> what do you give your odds of breaking into the piggy bank? Before you guys break into it, my odds are like zero. 
But me just by myself, I'd give myself like a 60% chance of breaking into 60. it. 60! The truck is loaded up with all of our weapons. Time to head back to the content house and try to break into this armored piggy boy. Now that we're back, we're gonna begin breaking into this thing. Samuel is gonna go first because he has the lowest budget. Then me, then Justin. Each person gets two minutes to try to break into it. And then we're gonna rotate and just keep rotating until you're able to retrieve the money out of the piggy bank. My construction vehicles have arrived. Check out the arsenal. I have four different things to choose from. I've only driven this thing like probably once in my life, so that's the problem. I don't necessarily know how to use these things, but I am confident I'll be able to break open this piggy bank. All right, let's drive them up to the demolition site. It took us 30 minutes to just turn on this device. One of our rules for destroying the piggy banks is you can't use the same tool back to back. You have to use a different tool every time. Samuel is first since he had the lowest budget. Samuel has two minutes to see what he can do with his tools. Samuel, your time begins in three, two, one, go. I was about to give out, Samuel. There is no battery. It sounds like it's a, no, the motor's gonna burn out. The it's motor not. is burning out. It's not even Facebook. No, you're not. Two, one, that was two minutes? Wow. That was impressive. That was two minutes? Yes, Jeez. my turn. I bent my blade just a little bit. You can see. Oh, and I was no. going with the cinder blocks as my first attack. Three, two, one, go. Uh, oh, you no. bent his eye. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm going to do a lot more than that. Whoa! Are you kidding me? What the heck, man? I didn't really do anything. What? Bunch of dents. Time to put on my uniform, because things are getting serious from here on out. To start, we have the flamethrower of doom. Jackson, three, two, one. End of the first round, we have used a sawzall, cinder blocks, and a flamethrower. We're not even close to getting into this thing. Oh, that looks, oh, that's hot. Turn number two begins in three, two, one, go. Helpful. <laughs> it's not gonna work, guys. <laughs> not making any progress. Pretty good. My turn. I'm gonna pick the axe. Three, two, one, go. Good. Nice. Whoa, see how high that bounce is? You should be in the circus. Oh, yes! Oh, the eye! I've got the eye. Now it's time for the other one. Oh, there we go. Oh no, the other. I'm using too many muscles. like a trampoline. Oh my gosh. Okay. Justin could even bring his tool over here. <laughs> Leave it in the comments if you know what this tool is. How or about Justin tells us what this tool this is? This is a, uh, a, uh, oh, crap. They said jumping jack, but that doesn't mean anything. Just watch your toes. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> yes. Huh? <laughs> How do you turn it on? <laughs> ah! <laughs> The stupid thing won't turn on. Hey. That was probably the, that was the most effective round I think I've ever seen. Oh, Every goodness. construction vehicle we work with, why can't there just be one button that turns this thing on? All right, get out of the way. <laughs> We're back to Sazal. Go! I wanted the ear. The super plunger. I have to tell you, it doesn't matter how much you spend on tools if you don't get the best tool for the job. It's not. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it doesn't matter how much you spend on tools if you don't get the best tool for the job. This is the worst tool. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
My next tool of choice is the scissor lift. Gravity, go! You have time! Ow! <laughs> Come on, you got this! The money moved around. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it. Time! Samuel's turn. <laughs> so helpful. Wow! Oh! <laughs> oh! You almost hammered your foot oh, shut. Mama. Watch the kickback. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! He cracked it! Oh. Dang! Oh! It's actually working! Oh! Are you serious? <laughs> Come on! Oh, dang, dang Wait it! Wait a second! Wait! Oh no! <laughs> How the heck? Five, what? Five, five, <laughs> no way! Oh. Look at that! With a wow. hammer, Samuel. Uh, that's not even where you cut. I know. I should have gone where I was cutting. You know what, though? That kept bouncing off and hitting me in the knee. <laughs> Ow. I can see the money. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's the strategy, right? <laughs> Ow. Ah, Don't let Samuel one up you with the fifty dollar budget. The hammer trampoline. Ah! What? <sighs> yeah, but here's, oh! here's the problem. I can't, I can't. It won't fit. Ah! Ty, you I turned. said five, <laughs> four. We've broken one of the panels, but the money still. You can't get it out. My time to shine, guys. <laughs> this has been a long time waiting to see what happens with this. Two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> what? Come on. What is the point of this thing? Uh, put this away. Yeah. Are you gonna maybe yeah. use it again later? No! <laughs> I'm exhausted. Thankfully we have a break. I don't know that this is helping. Pull out the money. What are you doing? It doesn't even have any sharp edges anymore. It's terrible. Oh, <laughs> Moving on to the chains of death. I'm gonna wrap this thing with chains and I'm gonna crank this down so it squishes the rebar. Go. Bounce back a little bit this way. You gotta pull these and then we'll walk it in here. And then we start cranking. <laughs> I don't think I got that. Angle's correct. You could work for a NASCAR pit crew. Ah, I didn't get the chains correct. Ah. What is this, dude? Ten seconds. Yeah! Woo! If I get another turn, at least I know the method. <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. We got the bobcat. I'm assuming this thing is just gonna obliterate this piggy bank. This is pretty separated. Oh, oh yeah, look, yeah. the metal moved. Oh! How's the damage looking, fellas? Yeah, this is separated. Ooh! Samuel, what yeah. would you do with $1,000? I'm gonna take my wife out. We're gonna do an Airbnb. All kinds of like sweet stuff. Probably go up to like Breckenridge or Aspen and just have a like super fun day. You know, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that with my wife. You know, that's a great idea. I might have to do that with my wife. <laughs> go! Oh, my oh. 
some actual damage right here. We got another hole. The first time I used this, I didn't like it. But now that we have some holes, I may be able to get some prying force. <laughs> oh, is it not, is this seriously not wide enough? Wait, I think it's in there. Oh, come on, bud. <laughs> I figured out why this thing won't go higher. It's because we've been on uneven ground. So we're in the warehouse now, and I'm gonna go up as high as it can go. And then kick it off, and it's gonna land on this table. Hopefully gravity and impact causes a break in the metal. <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I don't know how much damage you did, but. Let's flip it over. Anything? I didn't do a thing. Is that time? <laughs> All right, that's my turn. Go! Glued! It got glued! Oh! oh you yeah. almost ruined your only tool. Right? How much time that's do I have left? Oh, dang it. Look, I missed. Oh! <laughs> You were inches away from victory. Sorry. I still have another tool that I haven't used yet. The saw. The downgrade from Samuel's saw. What? What is that? Do you want to help? Do you want to help? Just move the balance. Samuel offering assistance to Andrew. Oh, that's what's in the way? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's actually making it cut, man. Oh my gosh, I look at this... all that progress you've made. Oh, this is quite useless. <laughs> Why did I waste my time on this tool? I think it's out of your price range. It's out of your price range. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. That was so bad. Super excited about my next tool. We got the steamroller. I'm confident in this one. In a uh, perfect cartoon world, the pig would just become like a pancake. The wheels on this thing are just giant titanium cinder blocks. I was just pushing it into position for y'all. It's out of position. You did loosen a bolt though. Look at that guy. Holy cow. Wow. You're right. All right, boys, it's back to the hammer. Oh! Ah! I got a crack. I don't see a crack. Oh! 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 Oh my! Oh! Come on! Oh, that metal's broken. Use muscles. Oh my! Stop that, sir! Oh, that is some serious ow damage. I will point out, I have done like the majority of this damage. Broke all this out. Broke this chunk out. Broke this chunk out. Cut this. I've cut this. Weird flex. We're coming down to the wire. It's time to head back to Battle Axe. Ah, what? Wow! Ah. No! Andrew, stop! What's happening? No, I'm oh. <laughs> no, don't stop! Oh, muscles are giving out. Please hold. Please hold. Come on. Come on. Three, two, uh, one. Mister, you stop that. Wait. No! Oh! You turned. Oh! This was right after Samuel said he did all the work. It's not about how you start, but how you finish. Thanks again to Just Dustin for sending us this piggy bank. Leave a like. Don't forget to laugh daily.